for participating today. Uh, the speaker today is uh, Elena Parilina from St. Petersburg State University. I guess uh, most of you uh, know Elena. Uh, she is expert in different classes of dynamic games and doing uh, applications in different areas. Uh, today she is going to talk about uh, opinion dynamics. Uh, let me just mention that uh, the session is recorded, so if you want to shut off your camera, feel free. And uh, yeah, that's it. So the, the floor is yours, Elena. Thank you, George. And first, I would like to, to say great thanks to George, to Jean Barish and Dutsov for inviting me to this seminar, very nice series of seminars. And I am presenting a work, a joint work with Vladimir Mazalov and Yulia Derefeeva. They are both from uh, Karelian branch of Russian Academy of Sciences. And um, we work, we uh, wrote two papers with Vladimir on this topic and joint paper with Yulia as well. And at first, I would like to uh, mention, to give some brief introduction on this topic, uh, because there are many, many models using different types uh, of, uh, I mean, game theory, uh, static game theory, cooperative game theory, and dynamic game theory. So I will uh, have uh, I will give you some brief uh, description of these models and then uh, describe my work. Uh, so we uh, the first citation is uh, the Grot model, it, which is very popular. Uh, it was published in 1974. It is a model of consensus uh, when consensus is reached. And in this model, it is very simple. Uh, the dynamics uh, is given in discrete time. It is a linear dynamics. And uh, the agent's opinions are changed according to this uh, matrix of degree of trust. This is a matrix T. And uh, each element of this matrix uh, is uh, the trust of one player to another player. So if we, have, uh, if we consider this uh, vector of opinions at time T, we see uh, how opinions are changes over time. And uh, this matrix T initially in the degrowth de model, uh, it, uh, it doesn't vary over time. So this is the feature of this model and uh, the consensus is reached uh, and it is like a definition given this paper uh, if there is a limit matrix of influence. So uh, if we consider this matrix T and we uh, consider matrix T squared uh, uh, and T in, in many, 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 I mean, in power, uh, k and k tends to infinity, we, we can find the limit influences of the player, of the agents. And uh, the idea of this paper was to find the set of matrices for which the consensus is reached. And of course, for, not for all matrices, uh, T, uh, it is reached. And uh, it was uh, then proposed that consensus may be reached in some subgroup of agents. And we can say that uh, a subset of agents is set to reach a consensus if the limit, uh, the limit opinion of player I is equal to the limit opinion of player J uh, for any two members of this group, from this group. So this is something like a simplification. So we, we can consider some interesting for us subset of agents and find the conditions under which uh, the consensus is reached in this group. And this uh, type of uh, problems uh, has a strong connection with Markov process, Markov chains. So uh, the uh, mathematical apparat of this uh, theory is used here. We start our work on uh, opinion dynamics with the paper joint uh, work with uh, Professor Bure and Artem Sidakov, uh, published in 2017. In this paper, we consider um, uh, a social network. We exactly consider this model of degrowth growth and uh, we examine the social network with two centers of influence. So uh, we consider one part of agent that trust one center and another uh, part of a uh, subset of agents who trust another center. And in our model, both centers were the agents in the, in the society. So we, we had no controls. And uh, we examine uh, this matrix uh, like sensitivity analysis because we have a lot of parameters. And uh, we found the most interesting part here was that we found uh, some cases, uh, some uh, range of parameters for which 
the consensus uh, is not reached for the whole society, but for some subgroups of players, for majority, we called it majority of agents, the uh, consensus was reached. So uh, this was like examination of some specific uh, specific uh, metrics still with some structure with some parameters. And uh, I also uh, want to mention this model of Fredkin and Jensen. It is also uh, about linear dynamics, uh, but this is an interesting part in this dynamics that uh, you can consider the stubborns, the stubborn behavior of the agents, because you have with this probability one minus alpha, uh, this part, uh, the initial opinions of the agents. So at time t plus one, they can have the initial opinions with some probability. So the higher this parameter, the more stubborn you are. And uh, with uh, probability alpha, you, uh, you have the same dynamics as given in the growth model. So you take into account the opinions of all other agents in the society with some weights. And uh, this opinion is also interesting to examine. And uh, another, another type of linear dynamics was proposed by uh, Hengels and, and Krauss in uh, the first paper was published in 2002. Uh, so participants exchange opinion only with their circle of communication. And the size of this circle can be changed over time. This is interesting, this model. And in this case, reaching a consensus is directly uh, related to the number of subgroups uh, into which the whole group of the whole society is divided. So uh, in this model, uh, the opinions are average uh, in this subgroup. And uh, recently we had a discussion, a discussion about, uh, with colleagues, with Vishwa, I hope he's listening to my answer about this. So uh, we discussed why there are not so many uh, models about opinion dynamics, which involve uh, continuous time. And I was thinking about this question and uh, I think the answer is in the nature of the problem because uh, when you consider uh, taking into account uh, the problem of taking into account the opinions, you assume some circles of negotiation. So at first time you listen, you have some discussion, you listen to other agents and involve them in some opinion and so on. So you have some rounds and time is assumed to be discrete. That is why uh, discrete time models are very popular in this area. But recently uh, I found some papers, I mentioned one here, uh, it is on differential games of opinion dynamics published this year, I think it's journal dynamic games and application as I remember well. And uh, so uh, in, this, in this paper, the opinion dynamics, the agents are assumed to be players. They have their functional, they are quadratic, and they have linear dynamics. And uh, in this paper, the Nash equilibrium is found uh, in this society. Uh, so I, I would like to mention our papers with Vladimir Mazalov published uh, the last two years. And uh, we consider the problem of control uh, of the agent's opinions uh, via influence on some agents of social network. And we examine, we find uh, optimal control if we have one player and uh, Nash equilibrium, we had, uh, as I remember, two players and uh, we used earlier equation approach in solving this uh, problem. Uh, there are uh, two, uh, two papers published by Artem Sidakov and uh, his students on opinion dynamics. Um, in the first paper, uh, it is a non-cooperative game in finite horizon. And uh, he considers uh, a network or specific, I, I think it was with uh, any network with uh, feedback and open loop information structure. Uh, he found Nash equilibrium with two players. And uh, in this paper, he considered uh, with, with uh, Rogov consider uh, a cooperative case of this game when uh, players uh, find the sum of the uh, their course and minimize their course influence in the society. I also mentioned this book. There is a very nice group of researchers from our friends, uh, friends uh, 
friendly institutes of uh, in Moscow, Institute of Control Sciences. And uh, there is a recently published book uh, when they uh, collect all the results res uh, published in the papers. And uh, they have a lot of publications and this one, they have a lot of publications with empirical studies. So they examined real networks like um, Facebook and Russian social networks and try to find the, uh, to check if this, for example, opinion dynamics works well with uh, spreading the, um, some I mean, certs in the society. And uh, also uh, there is uh, some group of papers uh, devoted to opinion dynamics, but it is a bit different, um, dif different idea. The uh, opinion can be binary, uh, so it is zero or one. And this is the group of threshold models. And initially it was proposed, uh, this model proposed was in two papers published in 1978. And uh, the idea is the following. So uh, uh, agent I in uh, period T plus one, um, change the opinion, his opinion uh, to one, if the average opinion in his neighborhood, so this is the uh, summarized uh, opinion of his neighbors in the network, is greater or equal some, some threshold, which is different. So this threshold varies uh, among players and otherwise it is zero. So uh, of course the convergence and uh, some properties of these dynamics depend on this threshold and the structure of the society as well. And uh, there are many, many papers, uh, but I mentioned again, the recent one it published, it was published by Michel Grabisch and Lee in 2020. And uh, this is the model, the threshold model, but uh, they use the idea of anti-conformism there. Uh, I think it is also published in Dynamic Games and Application. Uh, another type of uh, uh, opinion dynamics, which involve different groups of, uh, I mean, different uh, types of dynamic games, it is mean field opinion dynamics. And uh, it is uh, a very nice approach because they can use, uh, I mean, big societies and uh, also use huge networks involving, I mean, involve uh, huge networks in, in mean field dynamics. There are, I mentioned only two papers, but there are a lot of publications by, uh, from physics. Uh, I mean, they use the same approach and now they publish a lot of papers in this area. And uh, again, uh, another group of papers which model opinion dynamics using evolutionary games. So you see here some citations um, there are not so many papers, but uh, the idea when we have um, like opinion zero or one, it, it is very close when you model, uh, use evol evolutionary games and uh, this idea is involved in all these papers. And um, before I, I told uh, about only dynamics, yes, dynamic games, but of course there is uh, a huge amount of papers uh, from cooperative game theory, uh, which, which, which are, are devoted to uh, opinion dynamics and aggregation of opinions. And uh, they have some specific uh, imitation of dynamics, but they involve it uh, into the papers. Uh, the idea that they use cooperative voting games and uh, the opinion may be uh, in most papers, it is binary zero or one. And there is something like an aggregation rule. So this aggregation rule may be different. So there are, it is different in many papers. And uh, I only uh, demonstrated on one example. So here on this example, you can see a structured society and uh, as well, you have leaders uh, in the society. So one, two, three, the leaders, and there are two followers in, the, in, in this network. And for example, agents, Four uh, is influenced by the opinion of these three agents. We, uh, and uh, agent one and agent two uh, has opinion one, for example, and this one has opinion zero. So uh, this agent is assumed to change the opinion uh, to one because uh, two thirds of these leaders uh, have this opinion. But in this case, uh, for example, here, 
you see that one to one and one, yes? And uh, it depends on the aggregation rule if he changes or not the opinion to one or to zero. So uh, the most, the important idea here that uh, you model the, uh, the rule and uh, after that, uh, it's something like the new step. It is something like a dynamics new step and the opinion can be changed according to this aggregation rule. And um, the result of this, uh, of most of these papers is to define the power of uh, each agent in the network for a given structure. And uh, there is a nice survey on non-strategic models of opinion dynamics uh, by Michelle Gravich and Agnes Krasinovsky published in 2020. Uh, there are a lot of interesting models they describe in, in this survey. So um, now uh, I only show this picture to have uh, to introduce our motivation why we consider structured societies. And there are two random uh, graphs that are generated with different parameters. And you see here that uh, there are different structures, but uh, anyway, we, when we consider the society, it is very important to take into account the structure of the society. And this is a, a nice uh, a citation, nice idea that was uh, in the paper published in Nature. So the human society is based to a large, uh, uh, to a large extent on mechanism that promote cooperation. It is well known that in, in unstructured populations, natural selection favors defections over cooperativeness. There is much current interest, however, in studying structured populations. Uh, these efforts recognize the fact that who meets whom is not random, but uh, determined by special relations or social networks. In this paper, they show that uh, there are two behavior like cooperation and non-cooperation, and in structured society is much more interesting to uh, encourage people to cooperation. So that is why the structure of the network or, or communication structure influences a lot on the results uh, as well, the uh, spreading uh, opinion in, in, in the society as well. So we consider the society with some structure. Now about the model uh, we use in our papers. Uh, so we can see the sum network. For example, here we see one network and uh, the opinion dynamics is ba based on the growth model. Uh, taking into account players' control. So a society is represented by a pair. Uh, it is a set, uh, finite set of agents, and uh, G, it is a graph, or sometimes it is called uh, in these papers, network or communication structure. And uh, we also have um, another set of uh, human beings. It is uh, uh, the set of players, M. Uh, it is also finite. And we need to denote the set of neighbors of agent I uh, in, in graph G. So this is uh, my neighborhood. And uh, what about players? Uh, player L uh, can, can influence some uh, any agent I from this group as L. So this is the group of nodes or agents uh, under influence of player L. And uh, the player, this player influences with some control uh, at time t, and uh, the control vector at time t of each player is given by this vector. So if, if the, the agent is not under our control, it is zero. If it is under control, it is some variable. Uh, we can see the one dimensional uh, space I mean, for, uh, for each time period and uh, each influence on the agent. And each player in the, in the model uh, has uh, his target opinion. Uh, denoted by XL with head. And uh, the idea is to, so he has uh, some functional, he wants to minimize. And uh, it, is in, it is in discrete time with infinite horizon and with discounting. And we have two parts. The first part, it is uh, the um, deviation from the target opinion of each agent's opinion in squared term, in squared uh, mean. And uh, this is the quadratic controls with uh, some uh, parameter gamma L. 
And here in this functional, I need to mention and about players control that we allow negative values for players controls. And this is um, an important thing. So we have no, um, no constraints on control because we were thinking a lot about this, but uh, if we imagine uh, some, for example, uh, very good news and uh, our target is to have bad, bad opinion about this news, we need to, uh, to spread some bad news about uh, some bad opinion uh, about this event or news. And we can get, we can influence, yes, by the, uh, on, on the so we, we can influence agents by negative opinion. So this is very natural. So we decided to keep uh, the negative values for players controls in the model. And uh, about opinion dynamics, it is formally given by this, um, by this equation. So uh, this is the vector of opinions of the agents in the network, in the society. And uh, the opinion of agent I at time t plus one is equal to his opinion in the previous stage, plus some um, difference, yes, of difference between the average opinion and his own opinion in the previous stage. The average uh, is made here, uh, like uh, I, I calculate the average opinion, taking into account with the same weights one, the opinion of all the agents from my neighborhood in the network. So this is a normalization factor and we have the controls of the players uh, who can influence uh, my opinion. And um, this AI, it is a coefficient like uh, my student called resistance to the society. So this is a resistance to the society uh, coefficient and it is a constant from zero to one. And um, what we have uh, for one player, we solve optimization problem. We have uh, this Riccati system of equation and we found um, feedback stationary strategy. So the optimal strategy in linear form and um, uh, we prove, uh, so we found the value function. This is the optimal cost of the player and the resulting uh, optimal system dynamics is stable under these assumptions. Uh, and uh, if we can see the many players, well, we have this result, the system of Riccati equation. It is written for two players, but of course it can be extend for many players. And um, we solve, uh, so this is the system uh, which get which gives us uh, the solution. Again, we have uh, the linear uh, equilibrium strategies, uh, feedback stationary equilibrium strategies, and uh, Nash equilibrium course of the player as given uh, like this. And uh, the result in equilibrium system dynamics uh, is here and it should be stable. And uh, now I will show you uh, the experiments uh, first on a very simple network uh, to, uh, to show the, dif I mean, the difference when we have complete network and incomplete network. So if we have complete network, we have like this and here we delete one link. This is the matrix of influence and we see here zeros, yes. So the influence of uh, player of agent one and three, they decreases, yes, because we'll delete this link. And uh, uh, here, I only show you how to calculate uh, consensus when we have no players, so zero players. The consensus is reached if there exists a vector Y called the vector of uh, limit influences. And it is, uh, it is exactly that if we find uh, yes, matrix in power K and K tends to infinity, we will get this influence, limit influence of player J. And uh, to find it, we need to solve this system, linear system of equations. And if consensus is reached, the limit opinion of any agent can be easily found by uh, multiplication of the vector of limit influences by the initial uh, opinions x0. So uh, here I show you the result when we have no players and uh, we have uh, only this matrix and the limit influences of the players are given by these parameters. Uh, if, you, if you see these coefficients of I mean, the resistance to the average uh, opinion of the society. And here 
uh, you see that when we delete this link, we see that uh, agent one and three, they decrease uh, their limit uh, influence because this coefficient is greater than one here. And of course, uh, agent, agent two increases uh, his limit uh, influence in, the, in this network, in this society. And um, I will show you the model when we have uh, this initial opinion with this, uh, com we compare complete and incomplete graph. And uh, we have this uh, initial opinions and the target opinion of the player will be 0 0.5 and uh, this coefficient for each player. So we, we compare optimal state trajectories, uh, player uh, strategies and forces. So you see here, the first line, it is for complete network. This is for incomplete network. And um, if you consider columns, the first column, it is the influence on agent one, agent two, and agent three. So if you compare uh, complete and incomplete network, of course, the course with, uh, as expected, uh, the cost uh, of the player will be higher if we have incomplete network. So it is harder to spread, I mean, costly to spread opinion with incomplete network. And uh, if you want to uh, compare the agents at which you want to influence, if we have uh, a choice uh, at which player you need to influence, agent one, two, and three, you see that uh, the smallest scores are on agent three. Yes, and if you see that uh, he has the, the highest, the, the closest to the target opinion value as, this, as the second agent, but his uh, A3 is the, the highest. So uh, if we compare the dynamics, the convergence is uh, better when we have complete network, when we, uh, if we have incomplete network here. So this is the difference uh, in the results when we delete one link. And uh, here, uh, if we have the same opinion in the society and um, 0 0.2, and uh, we want to reach this opinion 0 0.5, and with different uh, values, A1 and 2S3. So here again, the first row uh, corresponds to the complete network, and this is to incomplete network. We see that uh, it is um, the less costly to influence again on agent three, but convergence is worse here. Uh, the best convergence if we influence agent one, and it is expected because we influence uh, on him and his, um, his opinion is not uh, so influenced by average opinion of these two agents. And that is why he uh, easily, we easily increase his opinion and other agents also uh, opinions uh, decrease, increase over time fastly. So again, if we compare complete and incomplete network, uh, we see that the, the costs, uh, the costs here, yes? You see that with agent one and agent two, of course, uh, increases when we delete the link. But here it is interesting that uh, for agent two, if we control uh, agent two's opinion uh, and when we delete the link, it is uh, less coarse uh, with incomplete network than with complete network. So uh, the same experiment with negative controls when we have, uh, you see here uh, the opinions uh, they are higher than the target one, so we uh, control uh, by negative uh, control the opinions of agent one, two, and three. And again, we have the sustainable result with the previous ones. And now I explain some extension we made. Uh, so in the previously, what we have, we have this uh, graph, for example, I'm uh, an agent one. And when I uh, have an average, when I calculate an average opinion, uh, of the society, I take into account my opinion and the opinion of agent two with the same weight and divide by two. Now we propose another, another picture. So uh, we, have, uh, we have this network, the same network, but now we assume that we have some decay of influence, but all agents with whom I'm connected, I'm connected, uh, all this agent can influence my opinion. So the idea is that uh, if you see there are different green colors, so this is uh, my opinion. I will, uh, in averaging, I will 
keep with uh, uh, weight one. The opinion of uh, agent two, I will keep with delta and agent three with delta squared. So there is a decay in calculating in taking into account the opinions of, uh, of the agent from the society. And uh, if you see here, the decay parameter uh, is from zero one interval. And now if agent I and J are connected in network G, so this is notation, uh, then the opinion of agent J is taken into account in average opinion of player I with this weight. So delta in the power dij, which is dij, uh, dij is the distance between agent i and j, so the number of links in the shortest path between these two agents. So if we have a connected graph, I take into account the opinions of all the society, but with different uh, decay parameters, so with different, um, I mean, weights. And uh, the opinion is changed and you see here the changes so we uh, calculate as i told um, i take into account my opinion with weight one and the opinion of other agents with whom i'm connected with this decay uh, in this degree distance and um, uh, the same uh, all other things are the same so we uh, update the dynamics and now we have the dynamics three and the idea of having a decay in opinion spreading is close to the idea of having a decay uh, in a benefit function when we defined uh, pairwise stable networks. So it was borrowed from this area. And uh, uh, the, I think this is a good idea because for example, if you imagine Facebook or any other social network, you can have some news reposted from, from for example, agent three reposted by agent two. So you you uh, get some information from this agent uh, via the agent yes on the path to from agent one to agent three. But of course uh, you have uh, the decay, so the weight should be less than one. And if the communication structure is given by a complete network, there is no decay. Uh, in influence and the dynamics are the same as defined in the, in the previous our work uh, published with Vladimir Mazalov and Yulia uh, Derefeeva. Uh, so uh, we, and uh, in case when we have delta is equal to one, what we have here, uh, if we look here, so it, was, uh, it will be like uh, we take into account with the same weight one, the opinions of all the, um, agents with whom I'm connecting, I'm connected with. So uh, this is a bit, uh, I mean, strange. So anyway, it is like uh, uh, extreme case for delta. And uh, in case when we have uh, delta equal to zero, what we consider here, it uh, it means that I'm like a stubborn. So uh, in this opinion dynamics, if we consider this dynamics and delta is equal to zero, it means that uh, this, this is always equal to zero and the difference, so the opinion of the society is exactly my own opinion. So we have a zero term here and the dynamics will be like I am a stubborn and I always at any uh, time period, I will have initial opinion X zero. If I'm not under control, but uh, of course I can be under control of the players, but not uh, under control of the society opinion, yeah. And uh, what we have here, yes, uh, please look at uh, this picture and we have the comparison between these two networks, not complete, but uh, with the previous dynamic and the updated dynamics, we have this updated matrix A. And if you see here, uh, this is the uh, limit influences of the players. And uh, consensus uh, always reached here and here. If A1, A2, and A3 are non-zero, um, so we have uh, this comparison and we see that agent one and three, uh, the agent one and three here decrease or increase um, the, uh, the limit influence on the network. 
Yes, because this coefficient, uh, this coefficient is less than this one. And uh, this agent, of course, it, uh, his limit influence uh, decreases uh, because this coefficient is higher than this one. So uh, it is uh, expected and uh, the level, I mean, the increase level depends on the parameters of decay. And uh, there is a model when we have, we compare these two dynamics, the first one when we have no decay and this one, these dynamics. And uh, the second one, it is with instance decay. And you see here that um, uh, if we, uh, uh, we have here initial equal initial opinions and their target opinion is 0 0.5. So we need to increase the opinion of the agents in the society, but this, Agents have different um, resistance coefficient to the to the society average opinion. The decay parameter for this group of um, simulations is 0.5, and you see here that the convergence is uh, better here if we influence agent one, and uh, the costs are less. If we in the, uh, influence agent two and three, we see that the costs are higher and the convergence are uh, worse. The convergence is worse for this case and this case. So for if we influence agent two and agent three here. Uh, so there is a comparison of, of the results. So if you want to choose which agents to influence, the best one is the first one with the smallest resistance to the uh, society opinion because you increase his opinion. And after that, all um, other agents uh, who, will, who, has, who have higher um, values of taking into account average opinion of the societies, uh, they will increase as well their opinions. And um, uh, here uh, I introduce only some star network results on about star network when we have and play and agents, or one is the center and all other agents are the same so they are symmetric with the same parameter A2 and the opinion dynamics is described by matrix A here and uh, we have this result that uh, for, this, uh, for this star network if uh, A1, A2 belong to uh, this unit interval delta from 0 to 1 then consensus is always reached in the system uh, with this opinion dynamics 4, not, not 3, 4 and uh, with influence decay parameter delta. And the limit influences of the agents are given by uh, these values for the uh, center agent and for non-center agents. And this is tau, this is a constant, which is um, uh, the constant of all these parameters. And it is interesting, it was interesting for us to, uh, to examine the limit influence of the central agents. And you see here, the more agents we have in the network, the less, of course, the less limit influence uh, agent one has. And uh, the structure is the same. And uh, it was interesting for us to find the um, uh, parameter of decay, the optimal parameter of decay for the central agent to maximize his uh, limit influence. So we found this, and this is the value of limit influence of, on the society of this central agent. And um, uh, we, of course, uh, if delta is equal to zero, the same, the all agents are stubborn. The consensus is never reached in this case. And uh, if uh, delta is equal to one, consensus is reached. And for the problem of cost minimization, when we have one player and the cost of uh, in the game with two players with this opinion dynamics, the theorem that we previously proved they are true as well. So uh, everything can be found from this uh, for these dynamics. And uh, for these star networks, uh, I would like to show you the comparison of uh, three results when we have three, four, and five agents. And the initial opinion of agent in the center is 0 0.7 and or non-central agent 0 0.2. And the target one uh, is the same as the central, uh, and the central agent opinion. And uh, we have the decay 0 0.9 for simulation. And you see here uh, that uh, here we, the first, the first row, when we control the opinion of agent in the, at the center, 
here you see that his opinion decreases, yes, and then increased. Of course, he, uh, his opinion decreases because the, uh, all other agents low, has lower opinion, and he takes into account this opinion. And after that, uh, this decreases. So you see here uh, that the costs are less uh, with, of course, when we have uh, less number of players. And um, uh, here, uh, the, the second row, when we influence, there are three lines because we uh, have three dynamics, uh, the blue dynamics for uh, dynamics of X for this uh, the central agent. Uh, orange, it is the agent from uh, non-central, but under influence of the player. And green one, it is not under control, but non-central. So we see here that uh, the convergence is worse here uh, in this row than in this row. And uh, if you compare uh, the costs, the cost in, uh, in all these cases uh, are less when we control the um, non-central agent in comparison with central. And um, uh, I, I would uh, like to conclude and to describe the um, work in progress. Now we are working in many directions so with our students. And um, this is the um, very interesting question. Is it crucial for opinion diffusion if we have stubbornness in the network? And which position in the network are the most sensitive for being occupied in stubborn? So it is uh, interesting, for example, I explained for a uh, star network. If we have a stubborn in the center or uh, not in the center, uh, is it the same or not? Uh, of course, and uh, how this influence uh, the opinion dynamics. And uh, we consider opinion dynamics like this when we have stubborn uh, coefficient. So uh, we take into account the initial uh, opinion, yes, and do not change it. And with some probability, we uh, consider the dynamics, uh, which is given, which considered before. Here, average opinion in the society can be calculated in uh, any way that uh, we proposed before. So we, we work and we specify some network structures and work on some specific structure to get some explicit results about this to answer this question. The second one, it is um, about the moments of observation. So if we do not observe the society opinion um, every time moment. So in, in our model, we calculate in the objective function, uh, the difference between the opinion society and the target opinion uh, every time period. But if we, it was a good question when I, I was last uh, last time presented uh, this uh, the previous work on this topic at Gerard seminar. Um, George asked me about if why why do you uh, care about uh, the opinion uh, until some period? Uh, and of course, when we have finite horizon, we can uh, forget about the opinion alone uh, timeline, but we can take into account the la the last moment of observation. Uh, so other, other problem is uh, if, if it is costly to observe, yes, the opinion of the society and uh, you can, players can choose the moments of observation. So uh, this is the problem of choice, which moments you can choose for observation of the opinion society. Another problem, uh, as my student told when I, we discussed this problem, uh, she told me, when you describe the opinion dynamics, I feel that uh, you describe me as an agent, but I do not want to be an agent, I want to be a player. And she said that this, uh, this parameter may be uh, the parameter of control, this, it may be the control of the agent, and you can resist, as she said, uh, the new generation so, should resist the uh, uh, average opinion of the society. So if you have uh, this parameter, but not now the parameter, but this control, uh, you can consider this problem with different objective function. Now we model this uh, function and solve the problem with different objective function of the agents here. And uh, another uh, way to uh, uh, extend the, the work is uh, uh, to 
if we have a, com a complex network, it is difficult uh, to, I mean, to consider this, uh, I mean, all, all the structure, and we uh, reformulate the problems, uh, for example, op optimization problems, if we have one player, uh, to reduce the number of uh, nodes in the network. So, for example, here, if we have all these agents and we control only the central opinion, we can consider this after reduction and after reformulation of the optimal control problem. We consider this uh, network where you see here one, it is bold one. It is like a player which, uh, uh, I mean, represents, uh, which represents all these uh, agents uh, which are not central. And uh, the, the last on, on the remark that we can consider we wanted to have some uh, nice result, I mean, explicit theoretical result about consensus and reaching a consensus. And we can see the different, uh, like typical structures when we have ring um, and for example, two types or three types of the agents here. And uh, we have line with an agents and we consider uh, also different uh, types of agents here with different parameters. So we try to find some explicit results about consensus and uh, control problem. And uh, there are, uh, I mean, the list of uh, references here. So I think I'm finished. Thank you. And I'm, I'm happy, I will be happy to answer the questions if you have. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Elena, for this very clear uh, talk.